Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XRP. Once again, thank you for support. Okay, we got Coins Key Crew. So I was long on XRP, but I've actually closed that for a small amount of profit because the other day when we got this breakdown towards this trend line here, this ascending level of resistance, and then we've got support, support just there. Okay, we actually got a lovely little bounce. And what we were doing here, like I said to you, retracing. If we come up and take out the one fib, we confirm another impulsive move to the upside, and I think that there your target's up there, okay? But what we've done, we've retraced just there. We've got this big retracement to 786, big wick at the top. So you get a lot of sell pressure up there, okay? And then you come down, and what's happened? You've had a close just there below the 20. So that's negative because, you know, usually if you see a close below 20, you do head on down to the 55, and we've got exactly that right now. And what we're doing uh, clearly here at the moment, which is technically quite bearish for XRP, let me show you is we are actually breaking down below this ascending level support so i'm a little bit more steered towards the fact that we might see a little breakdown here for xrp some kind of abc from this top okay so let me show you what i'm looking at right now because we've got the confirmed breakdown of this neckline okay so support 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 and then we lost it we turn it into resistance so technically you could say that what we've got here is a left shoulder a head a little right shoulder into resistance and then we're rolling okay to confirming the breakdown of support into resistance and then we're going to come down like that and what we've got from this top is an a b c wave correction coming back down to support okay that in my opinion has to hold and what you've potentially got here is an impulsive move off the lows and you've got a corrective move coming back down which could potentially run as deep as zero three five five six if it does come down to that i think that would be great if we can come down and hold that and start to break back up this would be amazing because it'd be some kind of impulsive one corrective two and then you're looking at this being a very powerful free and like i've said to you that the wave three is the wave that we need to see to break key resistance points and i think at that point if we do start to retrace here and then we break the next tie this local high you know with power and equally you know all those resistance points that i'm showing you on the weekly and monthly time frame here for xrp it could be the break that we're looking for some kind of big big wave free basically off the lows you know so right now let's take a look at this if we do come down it is a big if as well we are sort of coming down and we're losing this ascending of support and we get another close below it at the moment we're sort of toying with coming back up above it uh, we've got one hour 56 to go uh, we've got the 10 ema and the 20 ema getting price compression here look between the ema see that so you will get some kind of reaction on this neckline obviously anything can happen as you're fully aware but i'm steering a little bit more towards the fact we might see some kind of breakdown because there's something i'm looking at a dxy and i've made an update on bitcoin today if you want to watch that regarding the dxy so we've got this resistance support support and it's now turned into resistance again we've got two closes below it so the technical target for this breakdown would be all the way from the first uh, point of contact just there that high all the way down to where you lost it and i think that this would become your minimal target right now the xrp is trying to get to a technical target is around about 03854 but we could come in for a deeper correction all the way down to 0356 so from here right now that could be a massive short opportunity a minimal short opportunity around about 5.86 percent but if it gets really nasty and the whole market comes in for a big crash we could be looking at a 13 percent short op all the way down to 03556 where i would be, keep my eye on that level if it starts to create some kind of bottom down there potential wick through then you know it would be a really good area to start to build some more long positions and, and spot entry points at that point and this is a big if obviously there's no guarantees because we could break out here there's be some kind of bear trap start to take off take out that high and all you've done is come up impulsively correctively and you're not looking at another impulsive break because you know this could be the correction here like i said to you it's all about support resistance it's some kind of abc and right now it's a one it's a two and you're looking at a big powerful three that takes out the one fib so that's equally a possibility okay it's all about support resistance but i think if we start to See multiple closes down here under this neckline which is acted as support for quite a long time now we could begin to confirm this head and shoulders pattern breakdown turn into resistance and boom we're going to drop okay so is there anything else that i can see is confluence to this potential breakdown target you know and there being a crash here and a correction for xrp so yeah there is let's take a look at dxy right now so looking at dick's y on the four hourly time frame i'm just finally you know trying to find any sort of confluences to swings and moves in the crypto market especially for xrp as well so just there we've got the breakdown of dxy confirmed this big bearish pattern as resistance boom breaking down and this was always my target the uh, yellow line down there i still think we're going to get to that target which is where we form this wedge with a potential to fall through it you know and if we start to see that that is incredibly bullish for crypto and especially xrp and i've gone through this with you uh, multiple times but you know this, it's going to come up and down and move up and down in waves so i think what we've got here is falling through the fibs now you know i don't want to go into too much detail in the video please check out a bitcoin video i've gone into detail 
detail again about how you know I've got these fib targets in here but right now what we're doing we're falling through the fibs and you can clearly see falling through resistance retest confirmed okay falling through and what we've done we've we've sort of found a bit of support on the 702 fib here which is a purple line that's a, that's the 786 blue line and then down here is a golden ratio and I think that that is a potential target you know for the DXY with an eventual big big sort of crash and correction down to the green line which is a 05 fib but anyway uh, so on and so forth you know that's a long way off if it, if it does get there basically but it, this thing will come up and down in waves like everything does okay so at the minute i think that what we've done we've lost 786 resistance confirmed come down hold a bit of support on 702 coming down we've not confirmed this as resistance yet so i think what we've got is a beautiful little falling uh wedge here which is a bullish reversal pattern for the dxy again no guarantees but if this starts to break out and comes up to 702 fib you are going to see a correction in crypto and i think that this could be a looking glass to the fact that we might be a bit exhausted in this rally that we've gone through for crypto and the fact that you know xrp is putting in some kind of double top head and shoulders sort of rolling a little bit on the friday time frame i think that if we start to see the dxy closing above the friday 55 and xrp closing below its 55 i think you've, you're coming down basically you know and i would look to short at that point not necessarily long uh, xrp so if we drop the xrp price in here go to plus at the top and go to xrp new price to scale and we drop it in if we take a look at the correlation right here okay so you can clearly see when we came up here okay we got this bottom just there for xrp okay and as this started to rally you can clearly see from this point here this is where xrp put in an abc correction do you see that when it started to rally into 786 so at the minute if we take a look at this if this starts to rally into the 702 this could be the formation when you look back in time you know if this dxy does something like this rallies into the 702 fib confirming this previous support as resistance before the continuation this is where xrp could you know putting this abc correction as this comes back up to resistance this comes back to support before going and then this rolls and this just takes off as a possible inverse correlation right here okay so i'm just trying to find anything i can as confluence as to the direction of xrp so you know i wish everyone the most luck if we start to see the dxy closing above friday 55 I would go short on XRP and it really is that simple and I think we get the retracement at 702 fib if this confirms as resistance and obviously the weekly amaze on the DXY as well I think you could be looking at some kind of bottom on XRP before breaking out again and then this is just going to be an explosive opportunity because at that point I think the DXY would confirm a breakdown in the bull market for the crypto markets it's a big if okay we need to see all of this breaking down breaking down breaking down for us to be really really bullish on crypto okay hope you understand the update take care everyone back to another update on xlp stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye